To get the diagonal wipe effect where the diagonal lines go from the top left to the bottom right corner, I'm going to be using two random videos that I have here to do the demonstration. Now the first thing we're going to do is to go to video transitions and we're going to pull up the edge wipe effect. Now by default DaVinci Resolve actually doesn't have diagonal wipe effect. So we have to get creative with edge wipe effect in order to get the desired result. Now let's have a look and see what it looks like by default. So it looks like it's going from the bottom to the top and it's a straight line. So now in order to get a diagonal line, we're going to play with the angle parameter under the inspector panel. And there are really no golden rules as to what, you know, what is the right angle. It all depends on what uh, is the diagonal line that you have in mind. So here I'm going to go with this. This is more in line with what I'm thinking. So now let's have a look and see what it looks like. Perfect. Now, as you just saw, the direction of the wipe is going from left to right. So now the question begs, what if we want the direction of the wipe to go from right to left, but still keep the same diagonal line? So now in order to do that, we still need to come back to the angle parameter. But now we're going to make sure that between the new angle and the old angle, there is 180 degree difference. And this can be 180 degree up from the current angle or 180 degree down from the current angle. OK, so now let's come back to the angle parameter. I'm going to adjust it up by 180 degree and let's see what it looks like. And now let's pay special attention to the direction of the wipe in this new clip. So now to get the diagonal wipe effect where the diagonal lines goes from the top right to the bottom left corner, it's pretty much going to be the same process. We're going to adjust the angle parameter here. Uh, now, again, there are no right or wrong angles. It all comes down to what is the diagonal line that you have in mind. So here in this case, this is more in line with what I'm thinking. So now let's play this and see what it looks like. And to change the direction of the wipe, once again, we're coming back to the angle parameter. We're going to make sure that between the new angle and the old angle, there is 180 degree difference. So for me this time, once again, I'm going to adjust it up by 180 degree. So now let's have a look. All right, lastly, we're going to do all these four different effects in one sequence so that we can see how they compare against each other. But if you feel like you already have a good grasp on what is happening, on what to do, feel free to skip this part because it's going to feel more like a review. OK, so now what we have here are pretty much four edge wipe effects placed back to back in one sequence. And we're going to adjust the first edge wipe effect first. And let's come here and adjust the uh, angle parameter so that we form a diagonal line that goes from the top right to the bottom left corner. That looks good. Let's move on to the next one. And we're going to change the direction of the wipe uh, by ensuring that there's going to be 180 degree difference between that angle and this new angle. But also, as I mentioned earlier, now either you adjust down or you adjust up by 180 degree. It doesn't really matter. So if I'm going to adjust it up by 180 degree uh, here, it's going to have the same effect. OK, so now let's move on to the next one. We're going to form a diagonal line that goes from top left to bottom right corner. And we're going to the last one. We're going to change the direction of the wipe by ensuring that there's 180 degree difference. That's good. And now let's have a look and see what they look like.